Welcome everyone to the presentation of our paper, Teaching the Value of Architecture. My name is Veronica Schopfer from the Architects' Council of Europe and I wrote the paper together with Anna Sanchez, Larissa de Rosso and Miriam Navarro. As an introduction, we were looking at the value that good architecture brings to a project and whether this value is actually taught at European architecture schools. So this encompassed, uh, encompassed a literature review of the different value areas that uh, good architecture contributes to and different criteria in these areas. And uh, this was then used to form an online survey amongst European architecture schools. This was all done in the context of a European uh, funded research project called AAA Reno, which focuses on the occupant in the energy efficient renovation. We found out seven value areas of good architecture. So it's economic, social, ecological, functional, cultural, health and well-being and heritage. For each of these value areas, we um, found in literature different criteria. Um, the time is too short to go into detail of all the criteria, so I will just name a few while I go through the slides. Um, so, for example, in the economic value area, good architecture can facilitate investment. So, for example, if you have a very extraordinary architectural design of the building, or if you design, um, for example, a positive energy building. Ecologically, um, the value that architects can bring, uh, of course, to mitigate climate change, to, to reduce the energy use, to um, choose different materials that are better for the environment and so on. When we look at the social value that architects can bring, it is also um, about um, how livable the spaces are that architects create, how uh, much they support diversity, and how inclusive they are, for example, for elderly. Architects bring huge value to heritage um, by making the heritage buildings of Europe more resilient and durable, so preserve it for the future um, generations and uh, protect it. And of course, the functional value that architects can bring um, is something that influences the long lifespan of a building by making it more flexible and more adaptable to different uses over a longer lifespan and also looking at things such as um, daylight access for example floor to ceiling height thermal mass and so on when we look at the cultural value it is very much about the community um, in and around the building so which kind of value does does the building bring to the community uh, and the public spaces around it and health and well-being is a very interesting value area when uh, we look at the different indoor environmental quality factors, such as the air, the acoustics, the lightning, um, and the thermal comfort. So after we have um, conducted our literature review and we found out all the criteria that we uh, sorted into these um, seven uh, value areas, we conducted an online survey amongst um, European architecture schools. Here you can see on this slide the, the participation of, uh, of schools in which countries and um, the ones that are named at the bottom are the ones that um, provided us with more info more additional information as well because uh, some of them were partners in the triple arena project when we look at the overall results of the uh, survey um, we can see that out of the seven value areas that we defined before the heritage area is the most taught one at European architectural schools, at least at the one that participated in the survey, with 52.4%. It's followed by well-being, cultural, functional, social, and ecological value. And the economic value that architects can bring um, is at only 22.9%. Here on the right-hand side, we can see the results um, separated by the different countries that participated. So you can see, for example, um, here in the dark red, this is the United Kingdom who um, teaches most values compared to the others um, and uh, followed by the Netherlands here in, in yellow um, that teach apart from well-being and uh, the economic value, all other ones at almost 100 percent. And uh, this gets less uh, for the other countries. Now I'd like to focus on two, two different value areas. First, the health and well-being value area. So, of course, in the survey, 
we have um, asked all different criteria that we allocated to the different value areas. Um, so here we can see the results for the health and well-being one. So for example, improve the thermal comfort was the most taught one with 59%, while um, improving healthy and active lifestyle is only at 32%. And when we look at the economic criteria, we can see that to ensure a cost-efficient budget for the construction project, it's a very a traditional value, I would say, um, is the most taught one at 38%, and the others are taught even less with um, the risk of gentrification, for example, the increase of real estate value is only at 24%. Um, to raise occupant productivity in offices is at only 18%. It's quite surprising that uh, this is not taught uh, as a value or not taught at, at uh, the architecture schools. And um, facilitating investment is at only 12%. The reason why this is so surprising with um, what value architects can bring um, to, to the economic aspect of a project is um, we always have to think about if an architect herself um, does not perceive her, her work as valuable in a certain aspect, um, she cannot um, get paid for this because then the client maybe doesn't perceive this value neither. Um, so there might be a, a connection between the different um, value areas and so the economic value area being taught so low and the, um, in comparison, low salary of European architects. The Architects Council of Europe conducts a study on the salary of architects and the average salary is only at 32,000 per year in Europe. So it would be interesting to investigate this uh, connection further. As a conclusion, our paper investigated the different values of good architecture and defined uh, for out of literature different criteria that fit into these values. And then we uh, created a survey amongst the European architecture schools out of this, where, as I said before, noteworthy is really that the economic value of architecture is the least taught area um, and heritage is the most taught area. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.